of happiness, this is pulling down by basically from convection and gravity. This is going up, it's deforming. So the land actually rises up. Why is it deforming? <laughs> Why? Because, because of the, the crust of plate is, or the oceanic plate is pushing down. And so it's kind of held on, it's locked, is what they call it, locked, and, and it's starting to get loaded. Because what it wants to do is that, ah. right now it's holding. Okay, got it. 300 years ago, what happened is somebody cocked the gun and let loose. Who God, cocked the gun? God. I thought you didn't believe in God. I don't. So it popped. It popped. God pulled the trigger, basically, <laughs> really, of the gun. <laughs> and so what basically happened is this, this crust of plate let loose. Ooh. Went back to its normal form. So us, if we were here, and if I did this, what happens to us? We were. We here. died. Oh. We fall. We drop. Okay, the land drops anywhere from six meters to twenty meters. So you anywhere from. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So six, six meters, twenty meters. We drop down. Uh, so imagine a bunch of trees. So they yeah, take twenty meters. Exactly. See my my associate professor here. <laughs> what he's saying is basically the fourth floor was up here or whatever you want to think of it at the time. Drop down. So what we see here is the evidence of the, of the forest floor. Ah! Nine point uh, on the Richter scale. Pretty close to that. I was in a 7.0 earthquake in Seattle. So basically, this, this is kind of hard to see here. You don't see much of this at, uh, I mean, direct contact with this specific. If you go up in the cove or something like that, where it's more protected from uh, direct abuse of this, the winter storm a lot stuff. You can actually go and you can pull out spruce cones or cones from uh, this level. I want a cone. Out a I have one. I want to be a geologist. Yeah. How did all these rocks get here? This here is placed <laughs> by one of those hydraulic cranes. Oh. Oh. They so make it look oh, like boo! Oh. Hydraulic cranes. Oh, this is basically to protect your. Oh. So the earth so used to be up that high, in the ocean, and it would meet the ocean. <laughs> Usually, yeah. At this time of year, 300 years ago, this was. Where you see it there, plus or minus a couple of meters. Yep. Wow. Well, right now, what they're predicting, and from what we've seen, uh, these kind of events happen every uh, 100 to 500 years, and it's been 300 years since the last report. So we got another 200 years, right? Uh, we could have anywhere from 15 years. Well, <laughs> that's, that's why I don't live in Lincoln oh, City. But <laughs> we have, we have GPS okay. position anywhere from uh, Vancouver Island down to Mexico, all the way to uh, New York. Although New York's boring because nothing happens over there. But the so we would know if it's about to happen? Well, here's here's the thing. Right now, these ones uh, along the coast, guard. they're constantly. If you look at the, <laughs> you put at the <laughs> grass, they're constantly moving up, uh, like up in height, uh, anywhere from five meters. So how are, are they going to be able to tell us though when it's going to happen? <laughs> tell us? No, that, that prediction is not a, a word that you can like to use. They can. They can no, I want to hear forecast. prevention, Spencer. Yeah. Right now we are moving anywhere from five millimeters to ten millimeters, depending on where you're at. I'm moving. Uh, and to the north. I don't. And I, I don't like that feeling. So basically, you can think of it. We're doing this east. Ugh, but very, very slowly. Very, very slowly. Uh, well, I guess it depends on what you think is slow. This is about uh, how much you're moving. Out. You can think of it. You got cut. That's how much the plate. As your fingernails grow throughout the year, that's not how much that plate is subsiding underneath. That's pretty quick. <laughs> that's really quick. No, I no, no, no. Mine doesn't Thank look you, like that. Thank no. you, Professor. The, o the only thing I have to forewarn is that in uh, Sumatra and all those things, we lost about a quarter million of people.